Alright YouTubers, today I'm going to show you the truth again about what is actually in our food. Now I have shown you before that there was metal in inside of different types of cereal. We can prove this very easily by getting a plate, getting a cup of water, pouring it in there, and then we have our types of cereal. You take a neodymium magnet, this is what it looks like, it's a strong earth magnet. You just put it in the water and if it pulls it around there's some type of metal content in it. Now we have already proved this. Today, I'm going to go one step farther and show you that there's metal in other different types of daily food that we eat, hence the term junk food. So what I have here, the first one right here is Doritos Corn Chips. Over here is Doritos Cool Ranch. Those are my favorite. And this is the hot and spicy Doritos right here. So first, it doesn't matter which one, just take a piece and we're going to throw it in the water. All right. And we're going to take our magnet. And see. And there it goes. See that? Now, again, we know that if there's not metal in the water, I should not be able to pull that around. It actually wouldn't be able to move. You know, it's actually repelling in a way in certain areas. We know this. See? Okay, now that's one. And that's our spicy. So we're going to go over here to our... That's our corn chip we just threw in. And then these... That's our Cool Ranch piece. Keep them separated. It's not like it really matters. Okay, so here's our corn. And there it goes. That's uh, quite the metal content on that one. It's going pretty quick. Let's try our Cool Ranch chips. Uh, that one almost wants to jump out of the water. So you have to imagine how much metal is actually in the Cool Ranch chips. Or better yet, any chips, any Doritos. And there will soon be others. And anybody knows anything about magnetics knows that unless there was some type of metal content in this food, we should not be able to move it. Plain and simple. Alright, so you be the judge, you figure it out for yourself, all you need is a plate full of water, chips, cereal, whatever you need to do, a neodymium magnet, and try to prove me wrong, and try to prove them wrong, and see if it moves for you, just like it did for me, you know, and then we really gotta wonder what is in our food and why exactly that they're putting it in. You know, it's poisoning the minds of the youth. And we can no longer continue at this rate. So let me know what you think. Go ahead and try it out. Do your own experiment. And then leave me a post. See how it goes. Make another video for yourself. So you can figure out the truth.